Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Geek Tech Industries version of Imperium Galactic Survival. Uh, so Imperium Galactic Survival is a, oh, um, uh, I'm in water, what's up with that beside my base? I took it out for a test flight, but I, I swear to God, I, oh, I think I remember what's going on. I took it out for a test flight, came back, and there was no base. It looks like that is fixed, at least. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so there's my base again. Let me... Let me get home. At least it survived. Uh, I guess I was having a video glitch. Okay. No harm, no foul. We're, we're still surviving here. Okay. So, let's get out of that clap trap figure out what the heck was going on here uh, okay so <clears throat> from killing the drones got some major loot Let's put all that stuff. Actually, let me grab it. So very fortuitous, I must say. Okay. Things are looking up. Not so bleak, not so bleak. I have... What's my stats here? I have... 13 kills and no deaths so far. Woo! No deaths. Pretty awesome. Okay. Let's get all this stuff sorted out. So, hey, didn't I not put it all in there? What the hell did I just do? Am, am, am I just completely derping? Did I just put it all into the... I did. Oh, God. Okay, let's stop derping and grab this crap and put it in the correct one. Okay, this is the one I wanted to go into. The one I can actually make good stuff with. Let's see. Nice. Nice, I can pretty much make everything that I know at this point. I have the materials to make everything I know. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, I should probably make water. Did I make a water jug? I can't even remember if I got a water jug at this point. Let's go check. Put my gun on. It's kind of foggy and bleak out. So I've got one oxygen gen generator. Um, yeah, critters just aren't coming around here anymore. I guess I scared them off. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. We've got, whoa, 34. Oh, look at that. Look, the bottle's happening. Woo! Um, well, I don't see us picking up that oxygen generator anytime soon, so let's just fill it up with fuel again. Uh, actually, you know what? Well, I'm just standing out here. Although, I've got to be careful. I don't know if there's... I don't know if there's a CV. I don't know if there's a planet patrol for this scenario. So, I'm a little leery of just standing around, right? 
Uh, anyway. I think I need to make a water generator. So let's do that. I like having a driveway that comes right up to the water side because then I can just stand on my base and, and deal with stuff that needs to be in water. No, come on. Oh, just deploy properly. Oh, I, right there. That's good. Uh, might as well just crank that up with fuel too at this point. Okay. Okay, oxygen and water generating. Nice. Um, I should probably eat something. And then, do we, do we have enough Neo? Advanced CPUs, yes we do. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let me eat something really quick here. Go to the food processor. I have a whole bunch of seaweed. I'll just keep cooking that up. And if that starts getting low, I can always go swimming for more seaweed. I mean, hey, that's what got me there. I can go back to it. It can be a fallback source. Although I'm pretty sure I've got a fridge full of crap right now, don't I? No, I got nothing. Got an empty fridge. Okay. Let's fill the base's oxygen supply up. And then. So we're all ventilated up. Let's check out our blueprints. I think we want the survival tooled HV at this point. I have some extra ingots already in there, so that's excellent. So it's going to need one Neo, that's just one of the CPUs. And minimal amounts of everything else. I think we should get this brewing. So I'm going to grab, um, let's just grab a whole bunch of parts for now, because parts will make the brewing faster. And just grab all that. What else do I need? I need that, that, I'll take that. Hell, I'll take those. Hell, that too. Don't need that, do I? No. Okay. Okay, so let's go into our factory and start throwing the stuff in. So these 30 pieces gave us a bunch of iron and cobalt. Motors gave us a mix of others, some cables for copper, pipes as iron, just some steel plates, capacitor, mixture of everything pretty much, computers, uh, another mix of everything, get some electronics going on, some control devices, We're getting there, uh, reactor cores. Oh, that pushed us over the top on everything. And wow, total production time down to one second. Let's see if we put that in. And wow, production time of one second. Because you, you know why? Because it was all parts. So there was no, all it has to do is qu and a quick assembly. So we'll start production. And blueprint production successfully finished. Woo! So that was awesome. Uh, let's spawn that. Frickin' A! See how the recycling and reusing in this game of all the parts is just so awesome. Alright, check that out. My badge of courage.
Yes, it's yellow. Nice. So this HV is going to rock. We're going to get be able to get some excellent resources. Um, I think to start, we need to fill this thing up with stuff. So let's put this stuff back in the constructor. Um, we need to get some 15 mil ammo. We're going to need uh, more fuel packs. So, fuel packs. Okay, grab a bunch. We'll let those spin up. We also need to make some more ammo. So we're gonna need 15 mil bullets. Let's mix 100, so that's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 3,000, okay. Okay, nice. Um, well, that was a fast spawn on that. I really like that. So really what I should be doing, do I, do I actually have a color tool? I don't have a color tool. Can I make a color tool? Yes, I can. Okay, I'll make a color tool. Got to put the appropriate... Uh, colors on the uh, the vehicles okay that's spinning up uh, I wonder if we're gonna get any more attacks I mean we had the one really nasty volley that was crazy five five dudes came we haven't had anything since so I'm, I'm not sure uh, did they like blow their entire wad all at once huh be interesting if more than five came like a like five and uh and like a troop transport or something that'd be that put a little twist on it and then the cv show up at the same time be scary hell okay i don't even know why i'm talking like that okay are these done yet are we done yet Uh, it's a thou. We'll grab those. Grab that. Grab that. Um, you know what? It's probably good enough for right now. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's go hit the pavement and uh, show you what this HV can do. Make some food really quick here. Make uh, ten seaweed snacks. Oh, actually, uh, perfect timing. Okay, we'll get that in there. So, 1,500 bullets, that should be good for now. Let's do the color tool really quick. And, um... Okay. I think what I want to do is... Paint... Paint it the Geek Tech colors, so that's black and, apply the whole block, black and green. So what do I do like this? Makes the uh, text stand out more too. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's do the other side. So do I do the, yeah, yeah, I got, I, I got an idea. Here we go, here we go. Oh, ah! Painted my frickin', painting my shop. It was a little sloppy. Okay, do I paint these? Yes, yes. Okay, so now I think what I'll do is put the green on. 
where the yellow is. So Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's looking I like I like the look of that better. I mean not not that I have anything wrong with yellow. Um it looks sharp with black too, but uh I really like the green. And last little touch ups, there we go. There that that's looking better. Look at that, it completely rejuvenated it. So let's do that to uh, this one too, get the middle part green. Nice. Okay. that get everything? It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's a free... Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. We got the Geek Tut vehicles all uh, paint schemed up. I guess I could paint black on where it's supposed to. Or did I already? I, I can't tell. Yeah, maybe they're already black. Okay. Are they? I guess so. Okay. There. Doesn't that look better? That looks much better. I like that. I like that. Easier to see the uh, the writing too. Nice. Okay. How's this going here? I got everything. I got everything. We're ready to go. No, we need seaweed. That's what we need. Thank you. Chow down on one of those right now. Okay. Let's fire this puppy up. What do we got on us here? We got lots of fuel. We've got a bunch of ammo. So, I'll go into the control panel. We'll do the fill all. Fill all. And fill all. Nice. So, we should be ready to go at this point. Let's fire it up. And we'll just go above ground a little bit here. Oh, and I'll get stuck on my... I, no, I don't want to move it yet. I can... Come on, you can make it out. Oh, really? That thing has a big bubble. All right. Freedom with an HV. Woo! This thing cruises pretty good. Yeah. Oh, shit. What's it doing? What's it doing? What are you pointing at? Stop. Stop. I don't really want it taking out predators. So let's go into devices. Uh, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna stop it from shooting at cores. We're gonna stop it from shooting at thrusters and generators. I just want to attack mounted weapons, turrets, aliens, and I don't think other faction matters, but alien, turret, mounted weapons. So, there we go. Get out of the turret. I'm just gonna page up a couple times just so I can, so I'm looking above the uh, now I also have my um, let's change that here so I'm going to turn the field of view back down to put it down to like 60 there now everything's a little bit more sharp and the 
HV isn't so far ahead. There, that gives it still a pretty decent field of view uh, without it looking really like you're in a big giant jar or bottle of some sort. I don't know where all the critters are. Okay, so what are we looking for? That's the TSMA, the armory. No, we want to stay away from there. Um, what do we want? Prometheum? Yeah, I think I want to go after the Prometheum, so I'm going to select waypoint, accept that. So we're going to go check out the Prometheum. Oh, let's increase our hover height. Oh, there's critters. Now, this thing has that jet hover jet on the back it's not just a, a regular thruster so it can actually oh so I don't want to get too close to that POI over there because that dude's gonna shoot at me one of these days I'll have to go take him out with my SV or an SV I don't I don't know if I want to take the claptrap out there against POIs I have another uh, SV in mind to use, um, which I'll, which maybe I'll get the resources for. It. Oh, what was that? Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He's uh, he's begging to be shot at. Oh, come on, reload. And, wow, he took it in the face multiple times. another one over there. Let's quickly jump down, grab grab his bits. Do you have any Neil? No. That's okay. Oh. There's a spider there. Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to kill this. Oh, I want to tip over on buddy. And then let's give me some height here. I think I want to kill the spider with my drill. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Let's. Okay, not easy. I haven't even hit it yet. Did I hit it? Oh, I pissed it off. Okay, let's go this way and then turn around. This thing is unwieldy to use in combat. Where is he? There he is. I hit it a few times, I could see it all all getting all squatty with me. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Come on! Die! Oh my god, I know I hit it a bunch. Really? Really? I, I suck this bad? See? Okay, if this was an SV, I'd have an easier time! <laughs> Jesus! <sighs> <sighs> HV against spider. Spider wins. Come on. Really? Ah, oh, I, I mean, okay, I, I have hit it a bunch of times now. I mean, I'm getting XP, so that's an indicator. It's hard to get this thing to. Oh. Die! Really? <laughs> Do I need to jump out and like shoot it? Do I need to like just stand still? I don't even know where it is now. Did I? Oh, there it is. Oh, come on, really? I, I, what, like I've emptied a thousand bullets into it? Or, well, into the ground in front of it. I killed a spider! That thing was worth a lot of XP! 
Okay, now that I killed the spider, this guy's easy. Because he just stands there and takes it right in the face. Yeah, baby. Okay. So now that these two guys are dead, I'm going to jump out, get my drone going, and then, uh, kind of want his bits first. Yeah, Neo. Nice. Okay. And we'll take his glowy. Oh, he's disgusting looking. Some meat. All right. We'll make up some spider salami. All right. Okay. So let's get back in our hover vehicle. And let's make some salami. Go into the constructor. Put that in there. Go to here and fire that up. Okay. Eat some of the seaweed. Just because. Okay, and then we'll put this stuff into the fridge. We got a little RV fridge in here. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Let's put the rest of that stuff on the constructor. I mean, look at look at all that ore from killing two of those dudes. I mean, wow. That's fantastic. What? Wow, that's crazy. I love it. Okay. Gotta find more of those guys. But hunting them in a HV sucks. I'd rather do it in an SV. Way more control. Just pinpoint the uh, attack. Okay, so what the hell was I doing out here? Besides playing with spiders. Prometheum, that's what I was doing. Prometheum. Right here. I can see it. It's glowing. Okay, so get right up to it here and I'll tip right down and come on and I'll tip right down right there and ugh and completely fail and come on come on dig it's kind of a sh crappy spot there we go there we go come on get in there yeah there we go there we go nice so as you can see, you get you can dig super, super duper fast with an HV. Right, so now that I got a bit of a hole, I'm gonna reduce my hover height down to about uh, one and a half meters. It's usually pretty stable. And you don't have to worry about if you're getting bounced around a lot. Just just keep mining. Just try and try and maintain. If you if you start losing control, take your finger off the trigger and straighten up a little bit, and then go at it again. Don't really worry if you fall over sideways. Just keep mining. You can always use the O key to right yourself. If you get stuck, use the O key while you're mining, and it'll. You'll eventually work free. As long as you got enough energy, you can dig yourself out of anything, really. Um, so, yeah. This is much safer and quicker than, than doing it by, by hand, that's for sure. Way. Is it tempting to? Is the bones getting get in my way? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, that tree. Can I get out this way? Okay, now I'm getting stuck. But you can see, even though I'm tipped sideways, I'm still digging. Eventually, gets rid of the dirt that's in my way, and I break free.
So, in that quick little bit, let's take a look to see how much we earned. It'll be in the cargo box. So, 700 Prometheum in just a couple of minutes. Uh, so you can just imagine if you if you really spend half an hour digging away at a at a node, you might actually completely empty it. You might dig a node completely out a huge node in half an hour, whereas that would take hours by hand. Um, how big is this node here? Let's see. It is. It's a huge node. So I I did six percent. So not bad. So I think. And it's all squirrely. Yeah, we're getting squirrely. There we go. So I think I want to get at least a full stack. And what I mean by full stack is 999 ore. That'll keep me going for quite a while. Um, I mean, re realistically, I should just like mine this entire thing right out and not have to worry about Prometheum for a long time. Um, but I don't think I'll. Oh, I got stuck. So just by hitting O and then just holding down the O wiggling around, you can start digging a hole again, get yourself free. So I tend to use the O button quite a bit while I'm mining. You can see it, it keeps you upright, and a lot of times while you're, while you're using the drills, on the hover vehicle, they pull you to side from side to side, um, and they they really like flip the vehicle around. So it, it, it gets kind of hard to control while you're mining. So the O button can really help out that way. Okay. And awesome. Nice thing about this little guy. This little HV is, even if I like flip him upside down, uh, he's small enough to be able to write, him, write himself pretty easily. Just trying to get as high as possible to get that ore up to the top. As you can see, I'm almost tipping over backwards. And there, I tipped over backwards. But that's okay, I'll just write myself. And go right back to it. Pretty awesome. Prometheum's really easy to see. It's one of the easier ores to spot while you're mining. If not the easiest, maybe. And flip upside down, a little O. Yes, digging my hand, you get XP, this way you don't. Um, but, I mean, mining, you don't really get a lot of XP for it anyway. I would rather go for the speed of the HV over the, ex the slow experience gain of, of hand mining. That gives me more time to do other things that that are better at XP, like killing things. Or picking seaweed. Okay, so... Okay, where, where did I... Okay. Uh, 
Uh, did I just screw myself? Look at that, I did. I, I dug out underneath my exit. Okay, well, I guess I dig myself out again. It's really bucking. I can't hardly see what's going on here. Can I, can I get out? Can I get out? Okay, I think I'm out. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's take a look to see what we got. There we go, that's more like it. So, as you can see, to do that by hand would have been... We would still be... We'd probably have like 300 and something. If we are doing it by hand. So, way more efficient. Um, don't get XP, but I don't really care. Let's head back to base. Uh, here we are here. So, let's make a waypoint. And get to that waypoint. There's base there. I'm going to switch my weapons. I'm going to hover higher. Oh, that sounded scary. Another spider. See, they won't bug me while I'm in the HV unless I shoot at them. Just fly on top of them. Yeah, screw you. Freaking blue spiders. Spiders. Spiders everywhere. You can see how running around. I just wasn't willing to do it. There's just, just way too many critters out here. Spe specifically those spiders that, you know, take 115 mil bullets to take out. Or apparently a thousand rounds. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Okay, and am I, am I wiping out? I can't see. I can't see. Let's straighten out with an O. And I am heading towards water. Okay, good. Uh, what am I going that way for? Here we go. My base is right here. So, not bad, not bad. I didn't die. Um, spawned an HV, took it out. Um, killed some... Some dudes, got some Prometheum. It was, uh, it was like... A good day for being stranded on a wasteland planet. Okay. Let's. Can, can I park somewhere else? God. Okay. Hey, look at that. I just weaseled my way in. There we go. There we go. Shut her down. I'll grab the stuff out of the fridge really quick. Did I have stuff? In, yeah, I have stuff in the fridge. Okay. Okay, so I think we'll leave it at this episode here at the end uh, and pick it up next time. Um, we now have two vehicles and as you can see the, the vehicle that we just spawned produces, uh, let's grab that out of there, produces a ridiculous amount of material now for us uh it'll get tons of ore um including crushed stone too i picked up a whole back like a whole ton like we're just we're rocking now we're not going to run out of fuel anytime soon eat one of these uh spider sausages <laughs> spider sausage okay enough of that put it away for later well guys that was a blast let's see we are up to oh drones are on their way you know what that's going to be the next episode you guys have a good day